Picking spin from the hand, as well as reading line and length, can be pretty difficult if you have never been taught how to do it. And that's where this video comes in. Welcome to our How to Play Spin series, part two. So first things first, before we get to judging line and length, we are going to look at picking spin. There are two ways you can pick spin. The first method is looking at the revolutions on the ball. And the second method is looking at the hand of the bowler. Great batters use a combination of both of these to be able to read and play spin effectively. So let's look at the first method, looking at revolutions on the ball. If you look at this ball, you can see the revolutions are going over the ball and to the leg side. This will be a clear indicator that the ball will be turning into you. So pitching on the off side and turning into your body towards the leg side. Next up is the inverse of what we just saw. If you see the revolutions are going over the ball and to the off side, this means the ball will be spinning away from you. So pitching more to the leg side and turning away from you to the off side. Let's say ball number three is directly in between the last two, with a lot of revs over the top of the ball, but in no clear direction. In this case, the ball will be going straight, but will most likely bounce a bit more. So please be aware of that. Then finally, we get to the last clear indicator, and that is when you see revolutions underneath the ball. This is normally a ball that's been undercut. This ball will skid on a bit more and most likely stay a little bit lower than the other three we looked at. Speaking about being lower and quicker, this is the perfect segue to our sponsor of this video, the Gravity Belt 2.0. The Gravity Belt is an all-in-one sports aid designed to keep you in the ideal athletic position for longer. Shipping worldwide, a one-size-fits-all aid with up to 20 kilograms of adjustable resistance, helping you to hit bigger shots while striking a cleaner by preventing you from popping up on contact. Improve your fielding and keeping by increasing your speed and agility while being able to stay in an action position for longer. Using the included sprint bungee to enable a stronger forward position through the bowling action. Pick up your Gravity Belt 2.0 today using the code CRICKETXI to get 10% off your next purchase using the link in the description below. That includes free three to five day shipping worldwide. Thank you again to the Gravity Belt 2.0 for sponsoring us. Back to the video. Just looking at the revs on the ball will not be enough. You will most probably react and make decisions a bit too late, specifically if it's a fast paced spin bowler. And that's where looking at the hand or release point comes in. This is super important, so please pay close attention to this section. Starting with the most basic of basics, this is what an off-spin delivery will look like through the release point for a right as well as a left-handed bowler. This delivery will turn into you if you have the same dominant hand as the bowler and away from you if you are opposite to the bowler. A small reference point you can look at is if the thumb of the bowling hand is going up and over the ball, it'll probably be an off-spin delivery. The exact opposite of this ball will be a leg-spin delivery and this is what it will look like through the release phase for both a right and left-handed bowler. Same thing as before, if you have the same dominant hand as the bowler, this ball will turn away from you. And if you're the opposite of the bowler, this ball will tilt into you. Yet take note that you want to see the palm of the bowler facing you, as well as the thumb rotating down through the delivery. To go slightly more complicated, both finger off spinners and leg or wrist spinners will have a variation that goes the opposite way of their stock delivery. For a finger spinner, it's called a carom ball, and this is what it will look like out of the hand. This ball will turn away from you if you have the same dominant hand as the bowler and into you if you're the opposite, depending if they can get enough revs on the ball. Otherwise, it will simply go on straight. It might be difficult to see, but look at the thumb and the middle finger of the bowler. The thumb pushes down and the middle finger pushes up. And as for wrist spinners, it's called a googly. The googly will turn opposite of the standard leg spin delivery, turning into you if you have the same dominant hand as the bowler and away from you if you're opposite. And ultimately, this is what it will look like. A cool key point here is that if you can see the back of the bowler's hand, it's most probably a googly. Next up, we look at our overspin deliveries. And for both wrist and finger spinners, these are called top spin deliveries or toppies. On the screen, you will see how it will look like for both right and left-handed bowlers when they bowl these deliveries. These normally go straight with a bit more bounce than usual. Although, depending on the release, they can go slightly sideways. Finally, we will look at both types of spinners undercut style deliveries. For finger spinners, this will be known as an arm ball, and for wrist spinners, we'll know this as a slider, although a flipper does a very similar thing. This is what an arm ball looks like, and you'll notice that the palm faces forward towards the batter with the index finger sliding underneath the ball. This ball just basically slides on and stays a bit lower after it bounces, as well as being a little bit faster than the stock delivery. And finally, for wrist spinners, here is the slider and the flipper. Both of these skid on a bit, as well as with small amounts of turn, if any. Both of these stay a bit lower than the normal deliveries, and both of these are also a little bit quicker than the stock deliveries. At this point, we are going to get into the picking line and length section of this video. 
So we're going to head over to Byron. Please take it away. We are going to be doing a draw that helps us be more assertive on the different lengths and what shots we want to play to them. We are going to be using something to help us as a visual aid to determine those segments. We can either use cones, tape, chalk or anything else that can provide a visual aid. For the first zone we're going to do, we're going to be focusing on a length where it's either a half volley or a full toss, which we're going to go forward to. Because as I say, you want to play the ball before it turns or after it turns. And this is 100% playing the ball before it turns. The next zone we're going to look at is a little bit shorter. And this is a zone that you're going to be looking to sweep or reverse sweep from, depending on the line. As soon as it's near that zone, you lay into that sweep or reverse sweep and take advantage. If it pitches anything shorter than that line, you are looking to advance. What we're going to do now with the last line that we're going to put out is put a line out for the furthest that we can advance to while still having control within the shot. If it bounces anything shorter than that line, we are looking to get deep into our crease and then explode either to the offside or leg side, taking the bowler downtown. For the first zone, and that's the zone where the ball is bouncing closest to you, we are looking to lay into a drive to really take advantage that the ball's not turning, to beat the fielders or hit it to the boundary fielders to really increase our scoring rate. For zone two, looking to sweep, we're looking to get nice and forward, reaching for the ball, hitting it on its bounce, so the spin has absolutely no impact on the way that we need to play. For zone number three, we're advancing down, because we don't want to be playing the ball as it's turning, and this takes away the potential of the ball to turn in or away from us, and hitting through it, looking to go as straight as possible, to have as much control as possible, by using the full face of the bat at any given time. And finally, when the ball's shorter than that, we're looking to either cut if we've got enough width, or we're looking to pull if it's close enough to our body, and that is how we score lots of runs. Thank you to all the members that help grow this channel. Also, thank you to the Gravity Valve 2.0 for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out another video, it'll be over here.